Hey guys, what is up? This is Jared, and today we're gonna make a gameplay video, sort of gameplay video, wherein I'm gonna watch a replay of uh, a game, a pretty good game that we had. Uh, this game is a 5v5 uh, dynamic queue around Platinum Hilo. So, uh, Skarner, I'm playing Skarner, really enjoy playing Skarner. So, here, uh, at this part, we basically, as Skarner, we have the spiders uh, in the middle. Uh, in the river so um, most people most teams would want to grab that for extra gold or just map control or something so we usually tend to uh, watch the bush watch the bush uh, around the river so yeah so we, we went straight there and as the other teams went there but we had better crowd control as um, Lux and I have stuns and snares compared to them as Lucian and Zig so we were able to grab the first kill the first blood was on to me, wherein I immediately went back as soon as I was able to because I needed to get the machete. So having the both items machete and the talisman will give me better clears, well better sustain with clears so yeah. So here I'm just going to standard, uh, going for romp, then blue, trying to kite blue as much as I can, I level up E first so I could have my stun for the, for the fight earlier. But yeah, ideally, if you if there wasn't any fight or something, just get uh, Q or E, Q or W, either one. If you're gonna get a good leash or not. But I guess E is fine. I haven't tested uh, all of the possible combination, whether level up E first or Q first or W first. But I usually go for Q or either Q or E. Sometimes W. It depends on how what leash I'm gonna have. So I'm just gonna farm here. Good clear my jungle I have better clears I have better sustain which would which really help me a lot because I wasn't I wasn't at, at half health which I would have been so yeah so we're just gonna play this normally here uh, slow motion for the red buff for this reason so um, at this point I'm gonna hear the spiders uh, animation so I know someone's there so Giovanni went there I smited the red to get the extra HP I went to the other side of the red so Sejuani so would take the attack from red and just uh, attack attack Sejuani. So, so with when it invades you want to uh, for red I usually just smite the red, red immediately for extra health then I would uh, go to the other side or opposite side of red just so red won't attack me. So I finished I finished my jungle with uh, with 75% health with uh, including the invade so that's really good so i have time to gank i know lucian has no flash so I, I, I just waited for his dash before i used my e i went as close to him as possible before using my e and there so just continue farming i know so Giovanni went for blue then went to my red so either so his grump is up and his wolf will be up he's so gonna go to his red buff after after he revived so i just clear, clear this jungle i think i was gonna i was leaving the wolf yeah i leave that countered just so you won't get EXP, so I'll, have, I'll be ahead. So continue jungling, ground. This is basically uh, how I would uh, do uh, with the uh, different situations. So yeah, I'm full health. I have, I still have my machete and my talisman. I have 1,500, 1,600. Uh, not enough for my for my warrior, so I'm just gonna gank mid. Uh, Ziggs has no mana, so I'm just gonna go and Lux landed their good binding, and yeah, we killed the. Uh, Ziggs and just continue harassing Sejuani so he won't be able to take any more camps. So he clears this bottom lane, bottom jungle so he won't have any top lane jungle since I just countered it. So yeah. Pull the, pull the, pulling the uh, raptors as I take the spider and then just clearing up my jungle. I have enough for my wire but I want to clear my jungle so they would respawn. I, clearing them as fast as possible would mean that more gold will be respawning. So yeah, I don't have. Uh, I can still sustain with machete and the talisman, so it's fine. Even if they tr hurt a bit at this point. So you see that I'm slowly killing them now, not as not as fast as earlier. So so now I get back, and this is where I went wrong. I should be taking blue smite, not red smite, blue smite. So um, I didn't realize it at first until I will show you earlier, uh, later. Uh, this taking red smite really impacted how the how this game went. It really went wrong with uh, this part. So 
So, uh, Lucian is going for Poppy. Poppy flashes as well as Lucian. He, Poppy was going for the flash flash stun to the wall, but yeah. So if I had my Luke's might, I would have slowed him and would have um, hit my E. So at this point, uh, I missed my E, another E. I missed two E's, and it's just it just went bad because uh, at early game my damage and my uh, yeah I'm reliable with my landing my E and landing that stun. So that was really bad. Lucian got two kills. But it's not the end of the world at the moment, so we're still ahead a bit. I have three one and one. Um, and that's when I realized I have red smite. I wish I had blue smite and the face palm. All right, so uh, going ahead, going further. Let's just fast forward this. Going to my blue. So someone went there to get my spider, but I, I think my blue is still there. Yeah, so. Mm, just continue farming. I'm just taking the buff at the moment because luck is just uh, luck, luck is fine with the middle. Uh, I needed to snowball a bit because I was I already I am ahead, but um, I can snowball really hard. So I'm just taking all the buffs, taking all the uh, camps as fast as possible with my warrior. So yeah, uh, going warrior Cinder Hulk's Garner could be good, but that would be for pure tank. That's that's if. Uh, the top lane would be, can't be uh, you could rely on damage from your top lane but usually as, carry jung as a carry jungler I prefer going just damage early on snowballing then just tanky later on so uh, here I'm just clear my jungle clear my rear, clear my ground clear ah uh, my krugs and I'm gonna go top so here I saw Lucian go down so yeah just here seed seed what yeah I'm really not sure why my ulti did my ulti see, didn't see. Uh, go through, but yeah. I was calling Poppy and he was he didn't come as early as possible. So uh, I had my ult I casted my ulti as you heard, but I'm not sure why it didn't go off. I think it because it uh, because Lucian went out of range with his E, so I'm not sure what that is. So yeah, I just played the audio there just for just so you can hear that the ulti was uh, cancelled. Why that's why I went. Went sort of went back a bit. So again, clearing. Uh, I'm I'm ahead of the Giovanni as well as uh, as well as Lucia and Lucian was dead. So I'm. It's fine for me to uh, invade like this. I can one v one Lucian. I can one one v one to Giovanni. So it's fine. Uh, but if you're not that that, that far up ahead, uh, it's really scary to just uh, uh, invade without wards or vision. So. Here, uh, Poppy went down. Uh, I'm just gonna defend top. Uh, I'm just clearing out the minions. I don't want to battle Lucian without my uh, without any backup because he can he can destroy me. He still has his calling. So um, I was calling Poppy to go top because I can't defend it anymore. I'm just trying to get get as much CS as I can. Then I saw the ward there. I saw that the ward. So I'm gonna time where Poppy gets seen by the ward. I'm gonna go E. I hit my E and flashed. Then as soon as I got here, turn back and uh, turn back and put Lucian back to the tower and stun him. So hitting my E instead of stunning him at first, I prefer to use my ult. Use my ult, pull him back and stun him under tower. That's the most optimal way you could uh, pull him, pull someone because would uh, most would prefer to just E then stun then pull someone then. I know uh, Lucian could dash by then, so I prefer to just, as soon as my ult runs off, I just uh, stun him under tower. So, uh, uh, Lux and Ziggs are down there, so I'm just gonna push mid. Because that's the nearest lane I could find, and here's objective I can get. So, just pushing up mid. Taking down this tower. Come on. Alright, so, that's how the rotation went. <coughs> I have tons of gold with me. Um, it's good to just go back at this mo at this point, but uh, yeah, it's good to go back. Uh, I could clear my jungle, but it won't won't be enough to get my item. So I just went for the sheen and the uh, <coughs> sheen and the stinger for the cooldown. So I have 900 gold. I'd rather go boots. So I went back and get the boots. Bought the wrong boots. And good thing there's the undo feature. Always good to have that undo feature. So I'm calling card karma to just start the dragon. So they're starting the dragon. Jin went for the crab, uh, yeah, spider from the 
enemy jungle. So we're just taking this down. Then we're gonna go after Amumu. Amumu! Amumu! They hear Twitch, uh, use his in, so put my pink ward down and just pull someone. So, again, put back the audio just to let you guys uh, hear the sound effects that Twitch, Twitch uses uh, invisible. So, putting down that ward made Twitch flash, which is really good. Uh, pink ward for a flash? I'll take it. Come on, it's 75 gold for a flash. Uh, so, now I'm just gonna go mid. At uh, this point, I was thinking I don't have ult, but we may we might be able to fight this. Joan is low. Like I'm asking Poppy to teleport. So as I move up, I put my ward down. I ask Poppy to teleport right now, but he uh, casts his teleport a bit too late. So now I'm just trying to go back, but uh, we can still fight it. Poppy still has enough mana to do something, but his stun failed, and another E was a miss. So another huge E. Missed. If I hit that E, Sejuani would have been stunned and extra damage would have been dealt and killed him before he was able to ult. So yeah, but it was a, this one was a 3 for, yeah, I mean 2 for 1 trade, so I guess that was fine. This is a, again, this is a 5v5 dynamic queue, so I was able, I am able to talk to all of my teammates, I'm not sure if everyone of the other team are. But yeah, uh, um, I'm basically doing most, uh, well not most, but uh, it's my it's one of my I usually do the shot calling so mm, at this point I was I was thinking of waiting for phage but I don't want to waste my time so I'll just continue going for uh, for the camps and now I'm calling Lux to go for blue because uh, I don't really need the blue anymore I can do well without the blue but another bad um, Bad thing happened. I was I was spamming my Q and uh, my Q got a kill, so uh, so it was really bad. So, and another bad thing happens here. If you just watch, right? So uh, good flash out and yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Yeah, sorry, not sorry. Yeah, so uh, it wasn't it wasn't really uh, intended to get the kill, but yeah, I'm sorry. Not sorry, I don't know. So uh, this is where the some of the bad things starts to happen. So I thought we were we, we are able to burst down Sejuani, but Amu went in, and I was I was thinking of just pulling Sejuani, but it was Lucian who I pulled. So um, I just went back. It's a good thing that uh, Lux was able to get the kill. It was two f two for one, except for the other deaths down bottom. So I guess it. If we count them out, it was 2 for 4, I think. So that was a really bad uh, exchange. And their composition is pretty much on team fight. Uh, Ziggs, Amumu, Sejuani, Lucian, and even Twitch. Twitch can do massive damage from afar. So um, at this point, I wanted to just uh, get finish my Triforce and get another tank item. I just want to get another tank item, but. Um, Here's the problem. Uh, Lucian is going for armor penetration and Twitch is going for health. So uh, at this point, I'm not sure whether to just build armor, build health, or build both. So I decided to go for more health for the reason that uh, Twitch isn't fed at, at that point. So his percent, his attack speed is still low and will be able to do tons of damage at the moment. But Lucian was the one fed at that moment. So, so my decision was go for more health. And this. Yeah, this is actually, I think, the start of all the bad things happening. I think. I forgot. Alright, so. We won that fight. In a, yeah, we won that fight. So, uh, we were planning to go for a tower. So, we'll be able to get this tower down. And push it down. Alright, so we're gonna push it down the tower. We're thinking of going for another tower. But Amumu was up. And I don't have my ult at the moment. So, I was thinking of just go back, clear the wave, go back, just leave it, leave it there. So I'm telling I don't have ult, I'm going to go back. However, they actually stayed for more tower, and so Giovanni was able to ult them, and Twitch was able to free hit from behind, and Twitch flashes, and there's nothing I could do. There's literally nothing I could do. So I just went back. I'm not sure why Jin still went in. So um, I know they're going to go for mid, so I just placed a ward defensively right there, so I could just take their camps. 
Um, I know some would ideally be just running or trying to defend mid or something, but there's nothing I could do with the four against uh, one against five. So might as well just farm, take this time to get more gold, get get myself fed, and yeah. So uh, just continuing to farm, taking all the camps I can get, taking all the gold I can get, taking them away from the enemy team. So got the crab. There was an option to just fight. Do we fight or do we, uh, do we fight or just let them have it? So I tried to fight. I put a ward down again for Poppy to teleport. I got Lucian. I got Lucian, but he was able to flash out and dash, uh, dash out. So Lux missed the ult, but I was able to kill Lucian, but uh, it cost my life. Then here's another extended fight, wherein everyone's able to run away. You know, Poppy flashed. Uh, killed Ziggs. Now I'm almost gonna get killed then. Now that's four for two, so that's a good one. So we're, we're gonna try to push mid, but we don't have a wave. We don't have the wave coming, and we have a wave down bottom. But uh, I forgot. I was not able to call them to push down bottom instead of uh, uh, instead of going for the mid. So um, what happens is we realize that the bot lane was pushing late. We realize it very late, so they're just coming down now. We're in most of the team enemy team has revived so at this point i'm asking them to go back just go back go back uh, just just go back because they were too far ahead so and again another sedge old twitch twitch free hit and there we go lucian got two kills and um no lucian got a kill and i think twitch was the other one that got the kill so again i'm just clearing out the camps uh, nothing i could do at this moment i'll just give them dragon if they're gonna take dragon that's uh it's a cloud jake so it's fine so uh but they didn't so again we're taking down so we're taking the dragon taking as much object objectives and as much gold as we can so next is where another bad thing happens later on so we're trying to uh pick one to Joanni since everyone is out twitch was back twitch was in v so i'm not sure where he went we were able to pick out Sejuani but lost Karma. I guess it was a good trade for jungler for support. Now, we're still ahead a bit. I am ahead a bit, but Lucian and Twitch are getting fed. They're really getting fed. Now I just wanna I just wanna get uh zoning and vision. I wanna zone them from the from going to our jungle, making sure that our jungle is safe and where where the enemy team is going. And again, keeping myself warm as much as possible. Clearing all the camps, not, not wasting time trying to find someone to kill or something because that's not really good for our team at the moment. So, I'm just waiting for Poppy to get uh, his items and letting him farm the top lane. And letting uh, Lux get the bo uh, mid lane and Jin get the bottom lane. So, I'm just taking my camps and taking the buffs. Now, the only objective in the game is Baron. So, Trying to get the vision for Baron is really good. This is a part of the mid game where objectives are highly contested. Barons, dragons, towers, and all that. So again, just continuing. I see Sejuani there. I just might down his blue, run away. Yeah, Skarner has good mobility, especially with the swiftness. So I can run away. I can I can engage with just movement speed. I have a masteries on my tenacity and slow resistance, so that's really good. I have uh, mass movement speed quints. I use movement speed quints and attack speed marks, and cooldown reduction glyphs and armor armor seals. So here we try to fight. I think I'm gonna die here. I forgot. Or wait, no. But yeah, uh, since Baron is highly contested, I'm staying at the Baron side. Even if I have that much, I have sixteen hundred gold, and all I have is HP. I don't have any resistance, so it's kind of hard to uh, do anything about that. So I'm just gonna continue farming. We have Vision and Dragon. I have this guy with the crab, so it's fine. Now, what is going on here? <clears> hmm. <throat> I forgot what was going here. Going on here. I'm just we're just trying to zone them out of the objectives or trying to get vision on all of them. 
Now at this point, I think Sejuani would go down bottom. Go to bottom. Yeah. I will see Sejuani bottom. Because we have a big wave going going to their bottom tower. And that bottom tower is really low. Alright, see, we see Sejuani down bottom. Uh, I'm calling for a Baron. Just go Baron. Sejuani is there. So, Baron. We can burst down Baron. We see Ziggs in the middle. We see Sejuani in the bottom. We have all five members in here. So, able to uh, burst down Dragon. Baron, I mean Baron. Ziggs outfield. And this is the part where everything just messes up. Um, Amumu went in. So, I just go f went for Twitch because I know Amumu would go down. Then I had my Ice and Lucian. My Ice and Lucian. I didn't see that Twitch was killing Jin and Lux. And now I failed ult again. And we were able to kill Lucian, but Sejuani managed to kill me and Poppy. So I can stun him and I was trying to go back, but he was able to use his E. And oh, yeah, it was just really sad. Really sad. Just we wasted Baron. We said Baron now just went for going for more HP. Uh, finished my War Mogs. Now I'm trying to get more resistance. And then I went for armor because armor would be uh, a bit pointless at this point because um, Twitch is doing uh, HP percentage and uh, Lucian was doing armor penetration. So I'm um, just trying to get uh, to get uh, more resistance against the Juani, against the Bumu. As well as Zig, so I went for the magic resistance. Then I have HP from Cinder, Hall, from Cinder, from Bami Cinder, and from Warmogs. So again, I'm servicing that it's fine. I have uh, I have good health. I'm, I'm a bit tanky at this point. I don't have that high armor, but it's fine. So this time I was able to give the blue buff to Lux, and trying to get the uh, position on this dragon because it's gonna come up soon. Now trying to pick on Twitch. If I had blue smite, I would have able to catch up to him, catch up to him and use his ult, uh, use my ult and just kill him. But I had red smite, so I wasn't able to catch up. And he was able to go in V. So get the crab. Now here's the point where it gets a lot messy, very messy. So um, we're trying to go drop position on the dragon. Earth dragon really do as well because Ziggs is very wave clear reliant he has good wave clear so we need to be able to push down towers as fast as we can so earth dragon is really good for our composition this time now i have i can do two things differently in this game in this fight i could um i could uh let's wait for let's wait for this all right so i use my e but lux was uh able to catch out amumu if i use my e on amumu instead of just trying to poke with it Everything could have held differently because Amumu would have been stunned and was not able to use his ult. So again, I don't have my E. Amumu was I could have ultimate Amumu. Use my ultimate on Amumu. Since um since I don't have my E, I don't have my stun. I could have used my ultimate on him and prevented him from using his ult and just fight uh fight uh without the they would have fought without Amumu's ultimate. So that was that was one thing I could have done. So I could have used my E on Amumu, but instead I used it to try to poke. And I could have used my ultimate. Instead I tried to save it for Lucian or Ziggs, I think. But yeah, it's a good thing I was able to kill Z Z uh, Twitch. I was able to kill Twitch. Because that would have been they have pushed out really hard. So another bad thing happens. Jin was uh, picked on by Ziggs. He should have been backing up by now. But yeah. He again was slowed and got flashed and auto, auto hit by Ziggs which had his passive so yeah. Uh, yeah another fail happened so just everything just going bad with, with my red smite and all that stuff uh, but yeah I guess another good thing happened here when I was able to again I had my E on Lucian stun him uh, pulled him and tried to stun him he was able to stun then yeah, Sejuani was done as well and I was able to grab a double kill. So I'm almost done with my items. I have 2k gold, I have my Bami Cinder and my uh, mantle. I forgot what to call that stuff. Negatron Cloak? I think that's Negatron Cloak. So again, I'm just pushing down bottom. We have three, three of them dead. Three of them are dead and I'm trying to push down bottom because so that was the nearest uh, lane from where I was. 
I know that this tower is low, so I'm just gonna grab it and go. Grab it and go. So clearing again the wave. I have good wave clear. And there. So clear the wave. Stole the jungle. Get all the farm I can get. Finish my items. So yeah, just back up here. No, we there's no dragon, there's no baron, so our next objective would be just towers, pushing down towers. I'm just waiting, uh, ask Poppy for uh, the wave here because I needed my, I needed a few hundred for my GA, so just ask him for the farm and he took my camp instead. So, yeah. I've got my GA now. Which means I can just run over them. I have armor and I have magic resistance. I can just run over them and kill them. So now, so now Baron is coming up in a minute. So again, map control again on the Baron, continuing to gain control of their jungle. Now I just don't care whoever is in front of me because I have six items. I am fed, so I got. I see a Mumu. Just grab on. Uh, try to stun him. They're, they're all asking me to go back, but. I don't know, we can fight, we, we are able to fight this. So I see Twitch, I flash on Twitch. And they're able to burst Twitch, but Poppy ultimated uses ultimate on Twitch. So, um, Lucian was stunned. Another follow up stun on Lucian. I, I can reach Sejuani. Jin had free ult at the back, and now I just want to go push. I don't care about Ziggs, I don't care about anything, I just want to push. So I'm going for, uh, they're going for Ziggs, so I go for middle. I, I can wave clear this myself, so it's fine. Now, we are we're our top our top inhibitor was down, but we can finish the game at this point. I think we are. So trying to push down. They have twenty seconds. Twenty seconds. Amumu is the only one up, so we can try to push this down. We can try to end it. I think. So again, continuing to push this. Use my E and the wave, try to get attack speed, clear the wave and just back off. So I asked them to back off as soon as possible. So we've cleared the wave. Our wave is pushing now, so they're gonna have to clear the wave before they reach uh, outside the outside their base. So I asked them to just recall as fast as possible. Don't run, don't walk, just recall because the next objective is Baron. A normal team would um, normally a team at this point would be all right. So they pushed, they went back. Our objective would be Baron. So, if I were the enemy team, I'd go straight for Baron at this point. So, uh, but they didn't. They didn't. So, we're still uh, we're still trying to gain control over the Baron. Now, I'm just trying to push down this lane, get as much pressure on all lanes as possible. I'm not. Uh, you see, I'm not clearing my camps. I'm leaving the camps on to for my team. Because I don't, I don't need, I need, I don't need that gold anymore. I need the pressure for the lanes. I can't give. Uh, I have to make sure that all lanes are pushed. So our top lane is, our top inhibitor is broken. We're trying to force mid, and now top inhibitor is uh, is respond. Now, however, there's this. They still have this wave. They still have this top wave building up. So we're trying to decide whether to. Go for Baron or clear the wave or, or clear the wave up top because our inhib would definitely go down. So now, I told them to back off Baron because they might uh, try to contest it since Lox is going up there. We, we can't burst it down. So my my objective here is just go for a dragon. I'll just take this dragon. Now they see me going for a dragon. It's the fire dragon, so it's really good. It's really important. So I ask Karma and uh, Poppy to just go for Baron. Disturb them. Disturb them. Stop them from doing Baron. So I I get the dragon. Then they reach Baron as early as possible. They don't have much damage because they have Sejuani, Mumu, Ziggs. They all they all have Lucian as damage. So well, they have Twitch, but yeah, we have Poppy. So well. ask Poppy to use his ultimate. Uh, Lux failed the binding and all that. I just don't care anymore whoever is in front of me, I just go kill them. It's just a Juani and Mumu, they, don't, they don't have damage. Twitch is running. Um, I think Lucian was thrown away as well, so... At this point, we knew that we won the game. Because the Juani and Mumu are dead, they don't have the crown control anymore, they will have Ziggs. Ziggs for, is for the... Wave clear, so I saw Ziggs, I just ran over Ziggs. I don't, we don't have the wave yet. 
We're still waiting for our wave to come. So we just kill Ziggs and win the game. So by this time our wave is here. And we didn't we don't need to get the Baron anymore because we're already here. We've got the cannon minion, we've got the um empowered minion. And just try to pick them as much as possible. Pick someone, try to stop them from defending. And there we won the game. Well, this was a good game. Uh, however, we, we did ha I did have a lot of mistakes, especially with my item. Having that red smite was really bad. GG, sir. GG, sir. Skyner does it again. It was a really good victory. And here we have a series. And we've got an S plus on Skyner, which is really good. So we're, we're up in farm on almost everyone. And I think I did most damage as well. Let's check it out. Yeah, I did the most damage and I did I probably did tank the most as well. Yeah, I mean, you receive so much damage. So their composition is really good because they're team fight oriented and all that. But yeah, thanks for watching guys. I hope you learned something or something or maybe anything you can pick up with this uh, recording I had. So thanks for watching guys. Leave a like if you like this video. Dis dislike if you didn't. Be sure to subscribe to watch out for more videos. And thanks for watching and GG.